This is part three of a Photopia tutorial. This landscape was created on a Chromebook. Um, there's no clip art involved, it's all original. I used the Photopia website. The first tutorial showed you how to create the haunted house in Photopia. The second tutorial showed you how to create the mountainous landscape in Photopia. And this tutorial is gonna show you how to create custom brushes in Photopia and how to use them to put together the entire landscape and kind of draw it all together. I'm gonna to go back to my haunted house. Okay. And right now it's all in different layers, but it's also saved as a project on my computer. So I don't need to keep it in different layers because I can always open it up in the different layers later. So right now, I'm going to do layer and I'm going to do flatten image. Okay. And now I'm going to take uh, my, let me unlock it. Well, actually, let me make a new layer. Okay. And I'm going to make some grass. So I'm going to take my lasso tool. And I'm just going to zigzag it up and down a bunch. And then kind of loop it around here. And I'm going to do edit fill black. Okay. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to do, since it's already selected, I'm going to do transform warp. So I'm going to take it and... Just warp it this way, warp it that way. Okay, and now I'll just hit the check mark. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it up a little bit so it overlaps the house a little better. And now I'm going to do edit, transform scale and I'm going to just mush it in real tight edit transform warp with the check mark And now I'm going to do edit transform scale again. And now I'm going to hide the background layer. Ah, define new brush. Okay. Now this brush has been added because this area was selected. So now I actually have a special brush that's that's actually a um, grass. So I'm going to just go to the size here. Make it real small. Um, And you can see I still have the brush here. All right. So make it a little bigger. And as for color, let me just grab the color off of here and hit OK and back to the brush tool
Well, you can see it's the same color as the mountain. And I'm just going to make it larger. And I'm going to go back to my haunted house. I'm going to hide the brush tool. I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to use my wand to select the entire house. Sorry, select, deselect. I need to be in the correct layer. So this is the layer with the house. And I'm going to use my wand to select the entire house. Um, I, for some reason, not selecting the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do select color range. And I'll select just the black. And I'm going to change the fuzziness so that it selects all the black. I'm going to hit OK, and now I'm going to do Define New Brush, and it just added a brush that's if I look under Brushes, there should be a brush added that's a haunted house, and that's the brush I want. Now I'm going to go here back to, I'm going to go back to my other project. I'm going to change the foreground color to, I don't know, like a gray. And I'm going to go back to the background layer, and I'm going to add a new layer in there, layer, new layer, that's just in between the background and the, and let me add the house back there. And you see how it's sort of hidden behind there? And now let me go to the, this layer here. And I'm going to change the foreground color to a darker, blacker color. And I'll just put another house here. But this one I'm going to make larger. So let me just do Control Z, get rid of it. I accidentally put it in the wrong layer. I want it to be in its own layer. So I'm going to do Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. See, until it disappears, and I'm going to add a new layer. Okay. So now, let me go back to my brush tool. It's the Haunted House brush. Now it's in its own layer. And now I can do edit, transform, perspective, and edit, transform, distort. And edit transform scale. And 
now you see that it, it kind of looks wrong because it's see-through. So what I can do is I can just go inside here and fill. And I'm going to pick the same color, the foreground color. Okay, that's not working because it's not closed on the bottom. So layer. Oops, so just like deselect. Okay. So I'm just gonna make a line here. Go back to the brush and I gotta select a different brush. to close this off. Alright, no one's going to see that, but it helps to have it be closed off because now I can select the area. I can select multiple areas and do edit fill foreground color. Now this this front side is going to be a later color because the sun's the moon's hitting it. So I'm going to go here. I'll create a later value. Okay. And now. I'm realizing that this area needs to be that darker value. So how do I get that darker value? I grab the eyedropper and click on it. Take the wand tool, edit fill. I change the foreground color to this color. Hit OK. And magic on this, edit fill. So now you can see I have my house in the foreground all done. Now let's deal with the house that's in the background. Um, that's this one. Uh, I think I'm going to just shrink it down. Edit, transform, scale. And I'd like it to be a lot smaller. Nestled behind the trees. Now the other thing that I can do is I can hide all the other layers okay and just have the house showing okay so I'm in this layer I can take the lasso tool and lasso it and I can take this colored in house and I can do edit, define new, brush, and whatever is in that rectangular selection tool is a brush now. So I can now unhide everything. I can go to this layer which has the house in it. Select deselect. So now I'm in this layer and let me go to the brush tool 
and let me find my new brush that I just created. Okay. And I don't want it to be that big. I'd like it to be a lot smaller. There we go. There we go. That's good. And right here, I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase this one. And then I'm going to take my brush. Select that brush that I just created. Put it right here. And then I can do edit transform scale. And make it look like a far away version of this house. Now, I may not want it to look like the exact house, so there's some things that I can do to it. Like, for instance, edit, uh, transform, flip horizontally, and now it's a mirror image of that house. And I can also add some grass in front of it. So let's see. Let me find my. Let me go to my brush tool. And there's the grass. A little big. Yeah. and I need to get a different color. I'm going to get the color of this mountain right here. That's good. Hit OK. Not bad. Okay, and then I'm going to get my background back in. Now, the only thing is that, that I'm not real thrilled about is that this house looks too opaque. It's, it's far away. It should be fading into the background. So I'm going to change the opacity of it. Make it look like it's really fading off into the distance. And I think I am pretty much done with this image and therefore pretty much done with this tutorial. After I completed this image, I decided that what it really needed was a spooky tree. And I hope that you will tune in for my fourth and final tutorial where I show you how to add the trees.